it's hard to know what exactly to say in a moment like this where you are feeling and thinking a lot of different things and almost at the same time questioning why you are feeling and thinking these things because the situation doesn't directly affect you. Now, I'm talking about the death of Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the other individuals who were on the helicopter. And I'm filming this just the following day. So just had a night in the morning to reflect. And it is pretty crazy, the outpouring of sorrow, but as well of love that I'm hearing from people around me and on social media and pretty much everywhere. It's always incredible when a person like this passes away, especially in a tragic way like he did, uh, the type of reaction that's felt worldwide. I've been thinking a lot about Kobe in a way that isn't how you would normally think about him. I don't think, at least. I was never a big fan of Kobe Bryant, but not because I didn't like his game. Uh, it's hard to find fault in that, just because I don't really watch the NBA a lot, so one can't say one is a great fan without actually paying attention and watching what that person does. But obviously within the world of basketball, he's a huge figure. His work ethic is unparalleled and I have always had huge respect for him and what he did and how he moved through the world. But over the years, the thing that has intrigued me the most about Kobe Bryant is not his prowess on the court, not his scoring ability or the number of records that he's broken, but just his personal development. I mean, he essentially grew up in front of our eyes. I'm of the generation where he came to be all that he, he is or he was. And we see him go through the process of being a young, rash, overconfident, cocky player who had some difficulties, had some challenges and some drama when he was young and moving through that to become the type of person that he was later on in life, a mature, wise person who was working for and on himself for his family and for a lot of people that he touched uh, outside of the world of basketball beyond all of that and that has been super interesting to see the the course of that development that we we don't often get a peek into I think because he was such a an attractive figure and I mean that in that he attracted our attention to him um, in such a way because he was just out of this world but also demonstrative in the way that he showed his passion and everything on the court. Um, so we see the contrast of where he was and what he has built himself to be and him and those around him have been quite open about that process and that has been super fascinating for me and also that we allowed him to go through that process. I'm sure there's people who still put him in the box of the person that he was before, but I think that's kind of crappy because life is about recognizing our mistakes and our shortcomings and our vulnerabilities and our failures and using that to create and build something better, someone better and for me, that is the magic of Kobe. Yes, he was out of this world with his skills and his work ethic. There's nothing that can really compare to that, but also his commitment to becoming a better person is the most inspiring thing for me. So 
in the stead of his death that is the legacy that I will be thinking the most of and reminding myself of that regardless of where you start out what you've been through and where you may want to be headed there's so much opportunity if the focus is there the drive is there the desire is there the openness is there yeah it's really hard to put into words how impressive it is to see that arc of change and i mean we see it in literature and we see it in biographies and stuff like that it's just a little bit more shocking when it's someone who's young and still at the height of everything that they're doing especially heading into their second chapter but um being able to see people's character develop development and really pushing themselves to be the best that they can be uh, that's my thing and that's what i'm all about and that is the legacy of kobe bryant for me